Well, hello again from Kingston. And I make no apologies this week for working from inside the car. You can probably tell behind me there's a bit of a snowstorm raging. And that means that it's been another complicated week. So to find out exactly what happened, keep watching and thanks for doing so. I'm sure you've all heard the good news, bad news stories. Well, this week we had some really fine weather and then we had some that was not quite the same. But this workforce thrives on a challenge and work to develop the later concrete spans continued throughout the week. Installation of reinforcing rod is now taking place on spans 10 and 11. And working from the west end of the bridge, there's significant activity to clean up the underside of the spans, which leaves the bridge with a really clean appearance. As you can see in this view, approaching span two from the south. A lot of work has gone into removing false decking from the early spans. For access to the drainage system in the future, a rolling buggy will run along the girders. This view from the south side looking east gives a pretty good impression of what the bridge will look like once completed. Removing the safety walkways and brackets makes a tremendous difference. Under the orange tarpaulins, more of the dividing wall is being prepared for concrete and another section on span 6 was poured this week. Cranes continue to play a critical role in the placement of the vast quantities of reinforcing rod. This week, another 75 ton mobile crane joined the fleet, but in the snowstorm on Friday, it was confined to the laydown. On the east side this week, it was clear that preparations on the east abutment for a concrete pour were well advanced. A steady stream of departures of ancillaries, the arrival and setup of a portable lighting set, and a host of heaters, including these two rental units, boded well. And early, on a fine Thursday morning, the pumper was present. However, conditions, though clear, were very cold. Substantial heat was applied to the site. Thorough checks and preparations were made for the pumper to move forward. And it did so and was set up for delivery. But when final checks revealed that the operating temperature could not be reached, the pour was postponed. On this project, if it isn't right, it isn't done. Perhaps unfairly, temperatures are not taken quite so much into account for the team working the fence line on Gore Road. Returning from Ontario's Family Day holiday on Monday, on Tuesday they completed all the panels to the south side and began fixing those that will run on the north. The work continued steadily throughout the week with considerable progress being made. Something you can clearly see in these views, looking east and west. But no work would be done on Friday. There was little scope for work, either in the east or the west, although there was some activity. It was effectively a three-day week, leaving us with wildlife.
So there you have it. Another week in the bag and another week closer to completion. If you enjoy these, please consider subscribing and make sure and look out next Sunday for the next update. Thank you.